Yeah, it'll be a great challenge for us. Um, obviously, Bangladesh are very tough to beat in their home conditions, um, having, yeah, as you mentioned, recently beat India here as well. So uh, this is exactly the kind of challenge we need for, um, you know, with the World Cup uh, not too far away, uh, test ourselves against probably conditions that we as a side will, will find the hardest. So um, yeah, it's going to be a great measure of where we are at as a team. Hello, Josh, here. Pretty similar to this question, like, uh, teams like Australia and the Indian uh, seem to strike on the beat slow and uh, low track at the So what kind of wicket are you expecting here? Yeah, expecting a slow and low wicket. Um, you know, I think, you know, expect uh, conditions that, um, you know, will be, will be tough for us, so, um, which is exactly what we want. Um, that's, that's the kind of challenge we want as a team, um, you know, to test ourselves in, in tough conditions, which will be great preparation for us moving forward. I'll say the question again. Do you see any difference in pace between A difference between spin and pace? Um, yeah, there's a, you know, obviously the, the difference of, um, you know, generally the wicket will be slower, um, but guys like Joffa and Mark Wood, they obviously have um, you know, fantastic airspeed, so, um, you know, sometimes there's a, um, you know, someone who can bowl so, with such pace, um, <laughs> On these wickets, it's, it's still a handful. It's not actually always as the benefit of the batsman. So uh, we have a nice variety in the attack. We have a nice variety in the squad, both right arm, left arm, you know, high pace, guys who can swing it. So uh, we have a nice balanced attack. Just uh, the World Cup in India, a few months away. Does this tour also play a role in preparation for the World Cup in terms of weather and maybe maybe sun conditions? Yeah, absolutely. Um, no, I think all our preparation is, is geared towards that World Cup. This is the conditions that will probably be the closest that we can get um, uh, to playing in India, um, you know, as well. So we only have these matches, um, you know, and then don't play again until September, just before the World Cup. So it's a, a great challenge for us, and um, you know, we're we're excited for the series. I just you are there with Malaysia. I think that we are back into the system. Uh, Bangladesh has lost his away series after that series. So, how much bearing that series will be now, or will there be in the end? Um, no, it's a long time ago. Um, and as you say, Bangladesh have, have always had a good record at home. So, um, we have some very good players in our team. We're, we're excited for the challenge. Um, we've had a lot of guys um, over the last few years are exposed to playing in subcontinent conditions. A um, number of guys have been here and played. Uh, in the Bangladesh Premier League and um, we'll have a, a bit of an idea as to what to expect um, but that doesn't make it any any easier. It's going to be a good challenge and you know, we, we look forward to it. Hi Josh. Well, at one point uh, Bangladesh team seemed to be outside from the subcontinent used to struggle here but nowadays very many players are playing in the BPL, PSL or IPL do you think that you eradicated the element of surprise when teams like England, Australia or New Zealand comes to play in subcontinents? I think um, the element of surprise is just being uh, more accustomed to the conditions, spending more time in, in the subcontinent, um, being exposed to the conditions more often um, you know, before the advent of franchise cricket. You know, you'd only come here uh, as an international team and um, so, yeah, absolutely, with more franchise cricket around the world, guys are more exposed to the conditions. Josh, uh, England are obviously the uh, world champion of uh, white ball format, and uh, England are probably the most aggressive team right now in the world. Uh, do you think that England could uh, adopt this aggressive approach if they couldn't lose their match against Bangladesh in 2015? Yeah, I think, I think so. Um, I think uh, even if we'd We'd won that game in, in 2015. I think we would have fallen down uh, not far after. Um, I think looking back, we were quite a way behind the rest of the teams in the world at, at that stage. And uh, you know, it was you know, very obvious post that, that World Cup that we uh, had to change the way we played uh, and try and be um, you know, at the forefront of, of where the game was going as opposed to trying to catch up. So uh, I think we would have we got to that point um, you know, regardless, um, but obviously that losing that match was a, you know, being knocked out of the World Cup at that stage was a, you know, probably the, um, 
you know, absolutely is now looked back at as that, that real turning point for, for English cricket. But um, I'm sure we would have been found out not long after had we, we managed to get through that game. Okay, we're going to do our last couple. Start here. Just, just saw Jofra's leg swing to the batsman. Yeah, two legs, uh, Adil and uh, Rehan. Uh, do you feel Rehan can be a trump card for you guys in this in the OECD? Yeah, Rehan's a really exciting talent. Um, he's obviously made his test debut and, um, you know, against Pakistan recently. Uh, he's still a very young man. Um, you know, he's a, just a teenager still. So we're, we're excited about his development and, and where we, we think he can go. Um, and it's great to have him in and around the, the England setup. And um, someone like Adil Rashid has been such a, a star performer uh, for us for a long, long period of time. You know, Rayan getting to spend time with him and then discussing bowling and uh, watching each other bowl, I think will, will be a huge benefit to him and, and a big stage in, in his development. And uh, yeah, really excited for for someone with so much talent, um, you know, not just with the ball, with, with the bat as well. So uh, yeah, we look forward to, to watching him develop and, and hopefully um, you know, turning himself into a, a, a brilliant international cricketer.